The Formidable Mughal Empire The Mughal Empire is one of the most remarkable empires in history. It lasted for more than three centuries and covered most of the Indian subcontinent. In this two-part series, we will explore the rise, the glory, and the decline of the Mughal Empire. The Mughal Empire was founded in 1526 by Babur, a Turco-Mongol prince from Central Asia. Babur was an ambitious ruler who dreamed of establishing a great empire in India. He succeeded in his quest by defeating the Sultan of Delhi, Ibrahim Lodi, in the Battle of Panipat. Babur's victory marked the beginning of the Mughal Empire. He established his capital in Agra and laid the foundation for the empire's administration and culture. Under Babur's grandson, Akbar, the Mughal Empire reached its zenith. Akbar was a visionary ruler who introduced many reforms and innovations in the empire. Akbar abolished the jizya tax on non-Muslims and promoted religious tolerance. He also introduced a centralized administrative system and a common language, which facilitated communication between different regions of the empire. Akbar was also a patron of the arts and culture. He built magnificent palaces, commissioned exquisite paintings and carpets, and established a royal library. Akbar's reign was also marked by military conquests. He expanded the Mughal Empire's territory by conquering Gujarat, Bengal, and Kashmir. Akbar's successors, Jahangir and Shah Jahan, continued his legacy of patronizing the arts and architecture. Shah Jahan is best known for building the Taj Mahal in memory of his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal. However, the Mughal Empire's decline began with Shah Jahan's reign. He spent most of his reign on building grand monuments and waging costly wars, which drained the in the next part of the series, we will explore the decline of the Mughal Empire and its eventual downfall.